India on Wednesday successfully test-fired the Agni-5. The test is being seen as a strong message to China. Agni-5, which broadly falls into the category of an Intercontinental Ballistic Missile or ICBM, was launched from the APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha at 7.50 p.m. The successful test of Agni-5 is in line with India's stated policy to have credible minimum deterrence that underpins the commitment to no first use. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how India has put China on notice with Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic missile. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The missile is considered the bedrock of India's nuclear deterrent. The test was significant for two reasons. It was the first user launch and initiated by the Tri-Services Strategic Forces Command SFC, after its induction into the armed forces. And Secondly, this is the first time the missile, which has been tested seven times earlier, was fired during night. The missile that reached a speed of 24 times the speed of sound, or Mach 24, was monitored by radars, electro-optical tracking systems, telemetry stations, and ships. Agni-5's actual range is classified. Though the reported range of Agni-5 is 5,000 kilometers or around 3,100 miles, it's widely believed that Agni-5 has a range of more than 8,000 kilometers or 4,970 miles. Chinese experts have claimed after the first test in 2012 that the missile has the potential to reach targets 8,000 kilometers away. India will continue to keep ambiguity over the range of the missile, probably to address the Western audience who may feel uncomfortable with India's ability to reach their shores. Even with a stated range of 5,000 kilometers, Agni-5 can hit most parts of China, including Beijing. The Agni-5 is a three-stage solid-fueled missile with a composite motor casing in the second and third stages. In many aspects, the Agni-5 carries forward the Agni-3 pedigree. With composites used extensively to reduce weight and a third stage added on, the Agni-5 can fly significantly more than its predecessors. The Agni-5 is specially tailored for road mobility and is canistered as well. The missile utilizes a canister and will be launched from it. Made by Marriaging Steel, the canister provides a hermetically sealed atmosphere that preserves the missile for years. Since the missile is ejected using a gas generator from the canister, the missile could be launched from any pre-surveyed launch location without the need for any pre-built launch site. The launcher, which is known as the Transport Come Tilting Vehicle 5, is a 140-ton, 30-meter, 7-axle trailer pulled by a 3-axle Volvo truck. The canister design reduces the reaction time drastically, just a few minutes from stop to launch, and makes it very hard to take out with preempted strike. Agni-5 has a speed of Mach 24 and an accuracy of less than 10 meters. It has multiple simultaneous guidance systems like ring, laser, gyroscope, and inertial navigation system. 
optionally augmented by GPS and Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRNSS, terminal guidance possibly has radar scene correlation. The multiple guidance systems make it very hard to jam. The missile is India's most advanced in its Agni series missile. The name means fire in Hindi. It's capable of delivering a payload of 1.5 tons, enough to carry a fusion-assisted fissile nuclear warhead. Though exact details are classified, it's widely expected to feature multiple independently re-entry vehicles, MIRVs. MIRV is critical because of the following. One, each missile can carry two to six separate nuclear warheads. Two, each warhead can be assigned to a different target. Three, MIRV-capable missiles are much harder to intercept when compared to the normal missile since they saturate anti-ballistic missile defense systems with n number of warheads simultaneously. 4. MIRVs ensure a credible second strike capability even with few missiles. Agni-5 is India's powerful deterrence against any Chinese aggression. This is one leg of India's nuclear triad with the others being nuclear-capable jet aircraft like Sukhoi-30 MKI and nuclear-powered, nuclear-missile-carrying submarines like INS Arihant. Nuclear Triad is the ability to launch nukes from land, air, and sea. A Chinese missile expert warned that India's test of Agni-5 ICBM poses a direct threat to China's security. The statement was published in China's Global Times which is considered to be the CCP's mouthpiece. Earlier, also, China has raised concerns about Agni-5. The concerns are legitimate, as now India has the missile with the capability to strike deep inside China, and this has stabilized the balance of power, which was earlier heavily tilted towards China. The timing of the test is important, since the tensions between the two countries refusing to die down and China's continued to take provocative actions in the LAC, or line of actual control, between the two nations. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.